Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a, just a few little parcels to show you that I've been getting. Uh, yeah, from mainly Amazon. Um, I've got one from Rebecca Admore Zest. And I've also got one from AliExpress. So yeah, what shall we have a look at first? Oh no, I've got a few from Amazon. Uh, let's look at the AliExpress and the Rebecca one first. So yeah, this is just one of my quirky little dinky little doodads that I saw and I thought you might like to see. And uh, yeah, it's one of uh, Lizzie's daft specials. <laughs> so it's a quirky little special and uh, yeah, you pop it on your fingers um, and it's a trash tray. So when you're diamond painting and you pick up a drill that's either misshapen or it's got a bobble on it then you can just literally put it into your little trash thing and pull it and your drill will stay in there but it's a ring to go on to fingers it's actually for um if you've got a cutting machine and you have to get all the little bits intricate bits out from between say you're doing vinyl or card or whatever then they're really used for those because you would use your tool uh, for picking your bits out and uh, use it for that but we've sort of like repurposed them for diamond painting i have had one that you actually stand uh, well i have got one that you actually stand um, and it's sort of like suctions onto your desk and it's the same sort of idea that you know whatever you put in there you just drag it through there and the drill or whatever is on the end of your pen will come off but i just thought that that was quite fun just uh, as a ring <laughs> Or if you're going out for an evening and you just fancy having a hot pink large ring on your finger, you, know, you just say, hello, do you like my ring? Then you could do that as well. I think it was only about a pound or something like that. It was just a silly little buy that I got with my last order. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to have to get that. So, yeah, just uh, a little bit of fun. So that's the first item that I got. Okay. And then these are just stocking up from Rebecca. Uh, add more zest for kids at 147. And let's have a look. That's Rebecca's little card that she pops in with her orders. And uh, that's all her social media. Oh, I didn't know she was on Etsy. Did I say that last time I got something? I don't know. So we've got YouTube channel, Etsy, uh, Facebook and Instagram, add more zest. So if you want to go and search for her, she's got lots of different things. Her storage idea is the best I've ever come across and the best I've ever used. And it's something that I now stick with and use all the time. So I've just got some of my little stickers that I put on my uh, canvas and onto my diamonds because I do keep my diamonds and my stickers separately. And then she did just bring out these little cards that are to go in when you're kitting down. I will use them next time I kit down um, in the spaces. So as you're kitting down, you can put one of these in so you know where your drills go back in so yeah they're just little extras um you don't need them uh, but i wanted them so i've got them <laughs> so just some little extras there uh, just some little bits and pieces i don't like my little bits and pieces okay so then from amazon from amazon i got two parcels which if you probably have been watching me and know me you will know that i've got a definite thing for uh, coasters and key rings <laughs> now the coasters i did use a vipon coupon uh, vipon is an app that you can download onto your phone and it gives you special discount codes for Amazon, some other companies as well, but mainly Amazon. Um, and it leads you to sort of special offers and things that they have on. And I sort of like stalk it and I tend to get quite a few things from there, as you probably know. Uh, these coasters should have been 9 98 and I got them for 4 49 And yeah, I need coasters like, well, I've, I've got lots of them. These were just... a bit different uh, and i just fancied getting these so you do always get your pen your boat and your wax and these are round coasters which are like the ply board 
um, and then they're like symbols on them. Uh, if anybody knows what these symbols are, oh, now then, is that the all seeing eye? Uh, I possibly know what that one is, but if you know what these symbols are, let me know. I think we've got the mountain on that one with the moon in the background. Um, you can sort of see which way they go up, hopefully, because they have got the letters on them. But I just thought the black and gold would be quite striking. And I do have a friend that will like these. Um, is this like a blossom tree possibly? Not really sure. But as I say, if you do know, let me know. Otherwise, I can probably look them up. But uh, yeah, I just thought these were just that little bit different. And I've definitely got a coaster obsession at the moment. Uh, there is only the four different colours which is the black, which is the majority of the background, a little bit of silver, uh, a yellowy gold, and then an orangey gold. So they will be quite quick to do as well. They're about the standard size of your coasters. There is just four of them. So they're four inches, 10 centimetres across, which uh, is a good size for a good mug there. But yeah, I just thought these were just that little bit different, like those. And uh, yeah, so if you do know these, let me know what you think they are or what they actually are. Um, I do like uh, to be educated. <laughs> I do like uh, when people uh, sort of like put little comments and tell me what things are because that's how I learn stuff. And then I try and remember it. <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> and then, oh, you may be surprised to know, but I actually paid full price for these because when I saw them, I thought I've got to have them. I've not seen them anywhere else. Uh, they were £14.99, <gasps> but there is 12 of them, and they are dog keychains. Now, you know how much I like my dogs. Sadly, there's no Scotty, but yeah, they are still all very, very cute little dogs, and it looks like they are all crystals as well, so they're going to be very sparkly dogs. Okay, so again, oh, that's a big piece of wax. So yeah, it's because we've got... Uh, 12 of them to do as you know i do uh, ra try and help raise funds for quite a few dog charities so uh, if i don't uh, keep these they will all be donated for some good causes so yeah that sort of like helps me justify the cost of them <laughs> it's quite a shock really because i do tend to buy most things on special offer all right so we've got our lovely little chains there with the little like ball and socket there so you just pop that little end into there and pull and that uh, creates your chain and you can either use it with your lobster claw clasp which these are really nice they're a real good quality a real big size as well so you're not going to struggle quite so much with those so we've got your 12 of those i will give them a count later on whoops there's always one that wants to escape Okay, pop those back in there. And then let's have a look at these little woofs. Oh, they are very sticky. Uh, and that's because they are double-sided. So, yeah, what they tend to do, I think, is put the glue on and then put the cover sheets over them while the glue is still a little bit runny, maybe. So it does end up going on the edges. But if you are using them as keychains, you do really need um, to put a sealer over the top of them. So that will stop the stickiness. But it looks like we've got a Spitz type dog or a little Pomeranian there. Uh, we have, oops, this one looks like, oh, that's the little, um, that's just the little bit that's come out of where the little keychain goes through. Sometimes they're not quite pu fully punished through. So if you just put them with uh, the end of your diamond painting pen, they do come out. So double sided as well. So I suppose for fourteen ninety nine double sided, it works out what one pound twenty ish each. So it's not bad. And if you are wanting to raise funds, then I would think you'd get a couple of pound each for these, maybe more. Uh, that one looks like a papillon because it's got like the butterfly ears, a little black and white one. Very pretty. Okay, see if we can name these dogs now. Then that one looks a bit like um husky either a siberian husky yeah because it's a bit thinner or an alaskan malamut uh, although it's not all that fluffy is it so we'll maybe come back to that one but it's just the head and the ears and the big fluffy face because they do tend to have really big fluffy round faces oh that's a definite snowser 
So it's either a little schnauzer or a miniature schnauzer with his little beard look. Uh, schnauzers have the beards that go backwards um, and Scotties have the beards that come forwards and uh, they have the prick ears, but they are a similar sort of dog. Oh, we've got our little pug. So there you are, that's quite uh, uh, easy to spot pug there. Okay. Now then, this one, it could either be a Chihuahua or something like um, a Manchester Terrier or a little miniature pincher with it having the little prick tears there and the colour of it. Okay, obviously they're not to scale because uh, Pomeranians, if it is Pomeranian, tend to be very small and that is a huge dog, so yeah. Uh, oh, now then, so that one could be uh, maybe an Akita. I don't know, it's quite, uh, again, quite a roundish, fluffyish face. Uh, ah, now then, I think that one is an English Bull Terrier because it's got like its pointed nose there and uh, a lot of the, like the white ones do have like a black patch on their eyes. Uh, my friend had one, oh, it was gorgeous Buster, he was one of Millie's best friends uh, and he had like brindle patches on him and a brindly face and he was absolutely beautiful. And then, oops, this one is definitely, oops, one hanging on there, that one's definitely a boxer. Okay, so they're definitely not to scale these. <laughs> And then we have, could that be a Doberman, I think, with its uh, pointed nose and its little uh, sort of chestnutty coloured face there. Okay. And then this one looks like a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They're all in slightly different poses as well, so you can either have them looking one way or looking the other, with them being double-sided. And then finally, I do believe that one's a Westie, a West Highland White Terrier. So, oh, Millie, you are panting a lot, sweetheart. I've said Westie and Millie's looked up, look, and she's panting away. Let me say hello, Millie. Are you going to say hello to everybody? Hello. I know it's a bit warm in here, isn't it? Oh, dear. Okay, so, yeah, the final one. I did used to have a Westie. My first, um, my first own dog was called Harvey, and he was a West Island White Terrier, so... Yeah, that one's really, really sweet. We do have some honorary Westies on our uh, little Scotty dog wall. So, yeah, but I just thought they were really cute. As I say, I'll either keep them for myself or give them as presents or I may donate them, as I say, to a dog charity to uh, just raise some funds because uh, they're always needing funds. Vet bills are tend to be one of the main things because they are very, very expensive vet bills. Um, and you know, a lot of these dogs that they do take in at these rescue centres do have quite a few problems. So, yeah. Um, in fact, actually, they may go to, uh, say, one of my doggy charities. But that is those little keychains. Let's have a look at these drills quickly. I've just scooped them all up and put them away without looking at the drills. Okay, how many colours have we got? Wow. And so they're all going to be crystals. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different gems. Starting off with our lovely sparkly silver, a very pale gold colour, an orangey gold, a champagne gold, sort of an orangey red, and that one's a browny colour, a little bit of like a grey blue, a peachy colour. A very pale pink. I think that's going to be for tongues and things. And that's like a very pale grey. And a little bit of like a silvery darker grey. And then just your standard black. So, yeah. 12 different colours on dogs. I don't know whether I'll actually do them as crystals or whether I will actually make them into just standard colours. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. It will depend how much the features come out, I think, with them being uh, dogs, particularly on this one with it being small. I'm not quite sure whether it will come out quite so well uh, in just crystals. But anyway, we'll see. I do want to have a little bit of a detail so you can sort of recognise it uh, a little bit. And then the final item. Which I say, I'm trying not to buy and then I've just gone in the spending splurge. But, uh, this one was get into it this one was a vipon coupon um and i have had these before 
and this cost me £8.79. They had it saying it was £17. I think I've paid over £10 for one in the past. Um, and it's oh, it says it's 60 bottles, so let's have a look. And it's got one of these plastic cases. Let me. Oh, it hasn't got an end. Where's my scissors? Oh, where's my scissors gone? There's my lovely butterfly scissors. I don't like my new scissors. Okay, so yeah, it's just one of your standard plastic boxes. Now, actually, this is better than the last one I got because it's completely flat. So it hasn't got like the handle bit there. So all the bottles are actually standing flat. It's just got some little curves, if you can see there, just that little sort of crescent of plastic. So it's got like little feet on it and it's got a couple of little feet in the middle as well. We've got our snap fasteners on the front there, which just snap open and snap closed. Looks like we've got our stickers to go on the top of our bottles. And it is my favourite type of bottles, which is the squishy uh, little plastic lids and then the hard plastic bottles. And these hold, I think, about, about uh, 1,600 drills. So about eight packets so if you get the little 200s. So, yeah, I just thought for the price, I will get that. This actually is uh, a soft plastic as well, which is quite nice because it is very thin, though. Uh, a little bit more pliable than some of the others so i'm not quite sure how long these little um these little hinges will last with it being such a thinnish plastic and then the clips again you know you've just got to be careful with them but eventually depending on how much you use it these will you know start to wear out and possibly uh, come apart but yeah so that is actually better you have got like the spaces where you could put little uh, divisions in them you could even use cardboard if you wanted to but that's quite nicely uh, spaced and they are all in nice little neat rows as well so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six so yeah we've got 60 little bottles in there excellent like that really like that so yeah i think for the price that i've paid eight pound 79 that's great and it doesn't take up quite as much room as the big cases so if you're wanting a little bit smaller footprint if you're cra uh, crafting somewhere that's uh, a little bit tighter on space then uh, yeah these are a little bit sort of more condensed together just give it a quick measure so it is 10 and three quarter inches which is about 17 and a half centimetres by that's about 16 and a half centimetres which is six and a half inches and then the depth of it will be the size of the bottles just slightly bigger which is two and a half inches which is just under six centimetres so yeah it's a nice one. i'm pleased i've got that it's, it doesn't feel quite as good quality as the previous ones i've got but actually with it being the softer plastic it may not crack i know i got one and i can't remember whether it came damaged or whether i damaged it uh so yeah Okay, so just a quick little video to show you some of my little dinky doodars that I've got. So just a quick video, uh, my purchase of my key rings of my little doggies, which I did pay full price for. Oh, shock horror. My funny, quirky little item that I got uh, from AliExpress. And then my sort of buys, uh, bargain buys from uh, Amazon, which is my little 60 storage case. And my four little coasters there I say if you don't know what they are let me know and then uh, just my things from Rebecca as well just say little storage items so quite a few little dinky little dodars okay uh, I will put all the links down below so if you click on uh, where I put the description more and then more again it should give you all the links to everything that I've got 
Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, if you pop them in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.